video is gonna be a do-it-yourself uh, high-low skirt and the purse and top that I'm wearing tutorial so as you know this high-low skirt is so much in trend this year and so is this fluorescent color you see this fluorescent top almost in every shop and you can just wrap them both together to make it look like this trendy color blocking dress and in fact you can just wrap the skirt itself with, it, with any other top and it'll look fab and same with the top you can wear it with any other buttons and it's just gonna look fab you can wear it during the daytime or you can wear it as a party wear it's gonna look really good as it's so much in fashion this year uh, i have seen this high low skirts uh, in forever 21 and they were like around 22 dollars and these kind of uh, chiffon fluorescent tops are sold for somewhere between 15 to 20 dollars but uh, believe me i just spent 12 dollars and i just made this entire outfit and so if you want to know how i created it keep watching the tutorial now to start with i'm using this one and a half year of chiffon uh, cloth that i have now i would suggest you get a little bit more like around two and a half year to make it a little bit length if you want or flowy now um, i just folded it into half and keeping the front half a uh, little bit shorter than the back half as you can it's gonna be a high low skirt now i'm gonna fold it from the center and now we are going to start working on the measurement now using any measuring tape or scale you have first we're going to take the measurement of the inner circle this is going to be the uh, one that will be around our waist now my measurement for the inner circle is five and if you want to know how to get your uh, measurement for the waist just check out the description box we're going to keep the topmost corner of the cloth as the uh, point now from which we are going to take the entire measurement of the inner circle it's just uh, how we gonna how the compass work you know you keep it a point and then just make a circle now once we finished getting the inner circle now it's time to work with the outer circle now this is going to be the length of the skirt so you can just take your measurement the desired length you want so now we'll start with the or extreme sides of the skirt so as we are working with the front post front side of the skirt you have to keep in mind that the length of the skirt is gradually going to decrease so if you took a measurement of like uh, 30 inch now that's going to be the sides of your skirt and you have to decrease the uh, measurement by an inch as you keep working as you keep working on the measurement so yeah once i've finished taking the measurement now i'm just gonna cut out the skirt now make sure you're just gonna cut only the front part of the skirt not the back one as it's gonna have a different measurement mm, so yes i'm just gonna cut out so yes once i'm mm, done cutting out the thing so now i'm just gonna turn it over and uh, work on the other side uh, so we're gonna repeat the same steps just keep in mind whatever uh, length you took because you just don't want to have different length or different sides so the same thing the length are going to gradually decrease and once we have finished um, taking the measurement and drawing the line we are just going to go ahead and cut it out so once i'm done cutting out uh, the front part of the skirt is done now we're going to work on the back side now for this side uh, first please first you want to take uh, the measurement you want to make sure what length you want your skirt to be so now we're going to keep the sides equal so and now this time we're just going to do it the opposite way like we will gradually increase the length instead of decreasing it so that we get the maximum length towards the back of the skirt so yes i'm just increasing the length by an inch as i keep taking the measurement and you just need to make sure you keep the cor topmost corner of the skirt as the point from where you want to take the measurement so yes it's just how you're gonna you know draw a circle with your compass so uh, now i am just cutting out as i draw the line so here i am almost done taking the measurement and cutting it out so now it's time to work with the top now for the top i got a one yard of cloth now if you want the top to be a little lengthy then uh, you just can take a little bit more uh, yard of cloths like around one and a half yard 
so now I'm just folding it into half and um, then I am using this top that I have uh, for reference so I'm just uh, gonna draw out the line so I want it to be a round neck so I just took the measurement um, from the top as a reference now I'm gonna draw the line So I'm just outlining the sleeves of the top so using the top as a reference I'm just drawing the outline and now I'm just going to uh, cut off the neck and the sleeves you just need to be very careful when you cut off and just make sure you uh, cut off like you leave a little bit space for stitching uh, so once I'm done cutting off the sleeve I'm just gonna cut off all the extra cloth I have at the side now before you cut off you just wanna make sure that um, you took the proper measurement so that after stitching the top is not too tight so you just wanna keep little extra cloth uh, so I'm done cutting the cloth so this is how we got uh, and now it's time to seal the cloth so once it is stitched it's gonna somehow look like this you can see it has a high low uh, skirt below and then this is the top and this color is so in so i am kind of happy with the outcome so now i'm gonna go ahead and stitch it um i'm gonna seal it with my hands although i have the machine right there but it kind of takes a lot of time seeing with the machine so first i'm gonna seal it with my hand and then i'm gonna give a final seal with the machine so i will show you after i'm done so i'll just show you where i'm gonna give it a seal so i'm gonna seal all this neckline with the hem and then i'm gonna stitch the sides and then i'm gonna stitch the mm, the skirts end i'm gonna hem it down and also make sure i'm gonna keep a um, opening here i mean by opening i'm gonna uh, uh, cut it down and uh, put a chain so that is what i'm gonna do so that it's easy for me to wear because like it's not a stretchable material it's a normal chiffon so it's gonna be a kind of difficult to wear it if i don't put a chain or hook or anything like that so yes that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go ahead and stitch it down and then i'll come and show it to you how it is so this is how the entire outfit looks after um, I've stitched it and everything. Now, and so I'll just show you the stitches. So this is, you can see, I just gave it a run stitch. We call it a run stitch. I don't know what it is called in actual. And then I just burnt the end first so that the thread doesn't come in. Otherwise, there's like so much threads coming in, the stitch will actually open. So I've just burned the ends and then just, uh, you know, tuck it in thread with a run stitch. And then I did same with the top. I just stitched in the same way. And also you need to put a lilin under the skirt or just wear any short skirt underneath. I'm, like I'm wearing a black short skirt that I have because um, if you use the chiffon material, they are very, very uh, transparent. So you just don't want to, you know. So yeah, that's why I just added something. In, uh, so I'm wearing a like yellow top, spaghetti top. Underneath this, um, you know, fluorescent color top. It's just looking really nice. So yes, you can wear something pink or black that's going to look good too. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and I hope um, I hope I could uh, just explain you how to create this dress and I hope you guys are going to try it and if you don't forget to leave a video response and show me how it is. So that's it for now. Bye guys.